Good morning, folks. We're starting today in southeastern Australia, New South Wales, Sydney. Wildfires, bushfires, high wind, spreading, burning, encroaching into metro areas. There are lots of evacuations, and I understand it's doing a bit better this morning, but Rural Fire Service map will keep you updated. Its websites appear to be the best way to stay informed for locals and for the rest of us who have taken notice from across the globe. As I said last night, our hearts are with you. Got a full moon in just a few hours, but there's much more to it than that. It's an eclipse, and it's visible for almost everyone. Everyone except for the Central and West Pacific. Europe gets a dead perfect shot at midnight, while the Americas will need to take notice after dinner. The lineup is adding to a number of seasonal and annual factors to create higher tides than usual. Parts of Florida are now flooding every day. The eyewitness accounts on RSOE are worth checking out. Bruce Gary's ice on tracking will continue. He continues to explain his frustration, but also what seems like a little warmth sneaking into his heart from the thousands of people begging him to stay. He's added a part for lay people, which I find as informative as anything else on the page. And boy, did he step up the colorized picture work. As always, it's a daily check for me. Folks, I have to say the loss of these rainfall maps and the government shutdown was as painful as the loss of HelioViewer. This is NASA's tracking and warning system for accumulation, flood risks, landslides, extreme events, etc. As I toggle from rainfall to rainfall accumulation, take note of India and Vietnam. Quite a rough week for this part of the globe, and for some reason, this area is also showing off-the-charts ionospheric readings. This is very unusual. Solar wind. Still on the calming trend, solar flares sticking to their middle of the road flaring. The departing group looking even more diabolical as it heads away. Why don't you go get a look at ice on, big guy? Light them up. But seriously, the focus does turn to the incoming groups. Developers are popping all over, but we still have the primary umbral groups lacking any magnetic mixing down south. Can't quite see all the incomers up north, but does look promising, yes? Speaking of promising, is this the American sunspot returning? I'd call it Texas size, but it's bigger than Jupiter. So, yeah, Brody, Shadow River, may have your work cut out for you this weekend. Corona hole power, down to moderate the last 24 hours and a bit unstable. Note that we had no bigger quakes, just some rumbles in Utah and the Caribbean that were above average. The fly on the wall format evening news will be repeated tonight with a focus on the government's climate lies. If you still have website issues, it's your browser, cache, or cookies. Send me a PM if you're signed in and still having trouble. Got a filament eruption, surface events, weather highlights, and other shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.